there. Welcome to the last edition of Joe News Interactive for this week. It's been an interesting one, if you ask me. Uh, it's emerging. SNIT is spending more millions to maintain and, uh, and operate an IT automation system that cost about $72 million to purchase and install. I'll be picking your views on this uh, controversial issue and we'll also be discussing obviously uh, the Champions League draw and all that. We are live on Joy News on Multi TV on DSTV channel uh, 421 and Go TV channel 144. We're also streaming live on Facebook. Our name is Joy News on TV. Well, I think the biggest issue of this week has been the one involving some $72 million spent to purchase and install an IT automation system at SNIT. Now we are hearing from the current Director General of SNIT, Dr. John Ofori Tenkrang, that the organization spends millions weekly to operate and maintain the system. So just imagine if we have to, you know, come to a concluding sum at the end of the day, how much we'll be spending on this IT automation system. And a lot of you have been commenting on this particular one. Let's get on to Twitter and pick your views. Because SNIT is trending uh, when you come to Ghana trends. Uh, at Larry Johnson, GH says, SNIT steals from us legally. Every month we pay. They care about nothing. Big offices, no sense. That's what he thinks he's had. Uh, 32 retweets and um, 40 likes. There are also some replies to his comment, but we'll move on quickly because a DDSL says, obviously, uh, the system analysts at SNIT have just made it more difficult for the rest of us in IT to make it. And a uh, really sad emoji face then says, financial loss be what? Hashtag joy SMS. So as you can see, uh, while we are counting the country's loss, other people are looking for uh, well, the potential threat uh, of this issue to IT in this in this country. So uh, let's move on. At K Bentel, I'm sure you know who Kofi Bentel is. He says, those who spent 66 million dollars, now we know it's 72, and could even be more uh, on SNIT software, must be fired and investigate investigated. Even if it works, if it doesn't work, prosecute them. That's what he says. And there are replies to that, uh, but quickly, let's uh, move on. And, um, and Larry Johnson GH comes again and says, the joke called Ghana, the pathetic institution called Yoko, and the nonsense called SNIT. Uh, good afternoon, all right? They're quite harsh over there. Uh, visionless leaders, uh, someone say who, who take uh, pride in titles. That's a reply to uh, Larry Johnson GH's tweet. And I just Nanama tweets and says, uh, so the SNIT management spent $72 million on a project that was supposed to cost $34 million. Do people set out just ahead us? He's asking on hashtags CTCVS. And uh, well, Ben Mensa replies and says, a semo, that means it's a problem. Proper investigation should be done and those found culpable must be dragged to jail. Mm. And so the Daily Graphic is tweeting as well on that matter. The Social Security and National Insurance Trust invested some $66 million on a malfunctioning at this moment, that malfunctioning uh, IT automation system. And so this conversation has been going on. But the biggest news uh, as of last night when we had the Director General on this particular station on Upfront had to do with the fact that they're still spending money to you know maintain this particular system and then that's troubling if, if a solution is not found it means that we're still spending more than 72 million dollars on this um, automation system alone uh suleiman kasim uh, is actually tweeting at ben koku says it's sad pensioners are being shortchanged and given a pittance as benefit with SNIT, we need an overhaul. And he's not the first person saying this. Actually, uh, another angle to this whole conversation is, you know what? Just scrap SNIT. Let's get private people to run, run and manage the pension scheme here in Ghana. I don't know what you think, uh, but at Manasseh Azuri, our very own Manasseh Azuri, when he tweets, SNIT, sixty-six million dollars. Then our president will pose for a $1 million check from India to renovate the office of the president. Very interesting.
very, very interesting. Well, um, Mr. Terry, at Mr. Terry underscore all mine says, if no one goes to jail for this snitch wickedness, the youth of this country must build jails and put some people in. And uh, well, that's another thing in this country because um, reading somewhere on what is also trending, we hear that uh, one of the bosses of Samsung has been jailed in, in South Korea and he's been found uh, guilty of corruption. So you, you ask yourself, can't we learn from these examples? Probably you could serve as an example if people who are found guilty, and the key word is found guilty of such offences, I, I, I just think the law should take its course. And uh, at Yao Mom says, I'm hearing about 66 million US dollars in its greed and, and avarice. How can we as active citizens make the stop? Can prayers help? She's asking. Uh, but people are replying. Um, See, uh, Akodam Kabo says that unfortunately not, uh, that's um, responding to the, to the question if prayers can help, says just effective leadership. And um, she comes back to say, if effective leadership is in there, what can we do? People are just looking for solutions. We have no control over what SNED does with the money we dutifully pay out every month. And uh, Cabo comes back to say, effective leadership involves oversight to provision from regulatory bodies and the willingness of statutory bodies to sanction shortcomings. So yeah, the conversation goes on. I'm not sure this is dying down anytime soon, because $72 million, that's a lot of money. And and, uh, you know, just like Manasi said, come to think of the fact that our president received a one million donation from the Indian government to renovate uh, the Flagstaff House. It's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite an irony, isn't it? Interesting. Uh, but this is um, the SNCC board uh, that approved more expenses on the controversial uh, OBS contract. Total expense now $72 million. So uh, there was an initial board that approved the project and then there were issues about malfunctioning and so they had to go in correct you know uh, they had bought the wrong softwares you know and it was just a lot of back and forth so this is the board that actually um, approved more expenses uh, after the actual project or actual contract was approved so um, yeah, so Twitter is buzzing with SNIT. SNIT is trending when you come to Ghana trends. Uh, a, lot, a lot of that. And a lot of media houses are also tweeting uh, what other newspapers have done. Uh, interesting if you ask me, but hopefully something good will come out of our conversation and our interaction on this particular matter. But away from it, uh, there's some good news in the sports world. Um, uh, I'm sure you may have heard that uh, coach of the Black Stars, Chrissy Apia, has set up a foundation to help the development of retired sports personalities uh, through financial assistance, medical aid and skill development. Coach Chrissy Apia set up this foundation in May 2017 and it was inaugurated yesterday. Now this, this is the coolest part. Chrissy Apia will set aside money from his monthly salary for the foundation. Here's what some of you have been saying about this. Actually, one of the things that I realized was whenever I'm at home, especially in Kumasi, by the time I wake up in the morning, you know, I see a queue, and most of them are my colleague uh, playmates. So it wasn't something that uh, I, well, every morning when I see them out there, I say, okay, I must be the luckiest person in the world. In the sense that I played with them, and ah, even some of them, you no, know, were better than me. But if God has, you know, brought me to this level where, you know, I have something to eat, why not also find me, you know, to give back, you know, to uh, the society? So um, that's how come I had that ambition to make sure. Okay, I have my old place, and at the same time, I do sports um, at least. So. Uh, who actually served the nation. Mm. And on your part, how much are you going to commit into this? Um, I'm looking at between three to $5,000 every month. So, you know, I said uh, those were the views of some people on Kwesi Apia's initiative. No, that's not. That's actually Kwesi Apia himself telling us why he set up this foundation and what he hopes to achieve with it. But let's get on to Facebook now to hear what you have to say about this. And uh, Desmond Oakley says, oh, yes, uh, this is good. It will help 
lift the image of his family and help the needy. Above all, he will get favor from our maker. Okay, Isaac J says, you see the essence of giving the contract to a Ghanaian. He says that Ram Grant collected billions of Ghana CDs. Uh, well, Ghana CDs or dollars. So. <laughs> he says he did not even spend more than 0. 0.000. 0.1% in Ghana. Well, Isaac, he spent that in Ghana. I'm sure he lived here. He paid rent probably, uh, bought food. I'm sure what you mean to say is he did not uh, give in the manner in which um, Pussy Apia is doing now. Abednego in says, please qualify us to the World Cup first. That is what is expected of you now. Okay, so Abednego says, okay, because we... we we appreciate, but you know what? You actually, you've actually got a job to do, so do that first. Uh, that's what we expect. Patrick Reed, who says, they make way too much money for anyone to care for them. What they need is how to save their money for the future. And Patrick is talking about uh, footballers. But you see, uh, th this conversation has um, been had a lot of times about retired footballers and their state of living, you know, and all that. I'm not sure... Uh, it was as it, as it is now for footballers, I'm sure in Christia Pia's generation or even ahead of him. There were a lot of issues then, but now I'm sure that the, the footballers are doing some great things. Some even own companies and organizations and all that. So, uh, yeah, Patrick. Uh, Apana Chow says, we bless God for your life, referring to Coach Christia Pia, for this humanitarian work. Um, may God guide and give you good success. And Dixon uh, Adzrago says, I personally think he would be a better manager of that than that of the Black Stars. So good move. Uh, so Dixon says, just go manage your foundation and maybe you should just move away from the Black Stars because I think you can manage that better. Evan Zedu Crunchy says, well done, Chrissy, but please, African Cup is what we need for now, okay? Please do something about it. Uh, Richard Eya says, that's an insurance package for his job too. And a good one anyway, no one knows tomorrow. Kwe Kwe Du says, and none of the GFA officials showed up. Um, well, they did show up. They did. I'm not sure where you're getting your news from Kwe Kwe, but Dens Debbie says, this is not what we need. We need to win cups. So back to that issue of well done, but that's not why we got you to be coach of the Black Stars. Dovri Adam Komla says, well, it's good. It's not my money. <laughs> Uh, interesting comments there. You always would, would have it. Um, Ray Nolt says, now that's the news. Interesting comments there on Chrissy Apia's foundation to help retired footballers, you know, get a life and um, help them out with financial aid, you know, uh, medical, develop, medical and some other developments as well. So let's see how this pans out. And uh, like many of you have said, hopefully uh, Chrissy Apia can also get a thumbs up with the black stars by getting us a cup you know all right let's stay in the world of football and the champions league uh, draw was was held and uh, you know who the champions are real madrid now uh, they've been drawn in the same group with borussia dortmund and tottenham Ritney, uh, tottenham hotspurs now returnees manchester united uh, have benfica fc Basel, and cs K moscow in group a now which teams will progress from the group stage and there you have a photo of the uh, of the groups after the draw group a group b group c group d now group c has chelsea atletico madrid roma as roma and uh, karabag fk group d has juventus fc barcelona uh, olympiacos and sporting club de portugal interesting teams there if you ask me and um hmm let's see how it goes uh, Bayern munich is there well group e as Sparta, Sevilla, Liverpool, uh, NK Maribor, Group F, um, Shakhtar, Donetsk, uh, Manchester City, SSC, Napoli, Feyenoord, Group G, Monaco, FC Porto, Besiktas, RB Leipzig, and Group H, Real Madrid, the team, Bavaria Dortmund, Tottenham Hotspurs, and Apoel FC. So, Interesting comments uh, we'll be picking up shortly on this particular one when we get onto our Facebook page because uh, we've been finding out from you which teams you think will progress and uh, which uh, team you think is quite an easy one you know, to be in uh, for whichever team you think. Um, I don't know, but uh, people have already started saying ah, it's going to be an easy one for Real Madrid because really, apart from Dortmund, 
the other you know <laughs> the other teams are not really uh, at their level so it's going to be an easy ride for them but who knows football is a game of chance and we see it all the time so now it's now time to hear what you have to say about uh, the Champions League I'll be taking that right after this Uh, but quickly, let's take some of your comments on uh, uh, the Champions League draw and what you make of it. Uh, Prince Saki says Chelsea will uh, pass the group stage. Apana Charles says it will be a crack up, but tough for both. I don't know what he means by both. I'm sure it could be. It could be Real Madrid and Barcelona. And Steven Ayegogu says this is what we've been waiting for. Now let's still stay on you know, the subject of football and just cruise into the weekend because we'll be expecting a lot of that. Uh, people gather for a lot of things, some for work, like I'm doing here today. And, uh, well, it's widely believed men are brought together anytime is a football season or when football beckons. Have you ever wondered uh, what brings women together? I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of interesting comments on this one. But let's, let's hear what you have to say. Techi David Desmond says, gossip. I knew this would show up some way. Uh, where two or more women have gathered, there's gossip in their midst. I'm not, I'm not sure where you're quoting this from, but hey, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Evans, the Alconeria says, according to research, Facebook and WhatsApp are the second and third medium by which gossip and rumors spread. Women still remain number one. Okay. Uh, Ophelia Mensah, a woman is actually talking now. She says, I like the men commenting here. They know women. It's true though, gossip. So Ophelia means that when you meet with your friends, you gossip. Me, I don't meet with my friends and gossip with Ophelia. I think she should have done a better job at this. But okay, it's your opinion and I appreciate. Elvis Edu Boating says, um, we have to organize a gossip conference for them. Uh, uh, it will be overcrowded. Why oh, is everybody saying gossip? Are you serious? Look, when women gather, sometimes we talk about relationship, we talk about recipes and food, and um, the latest spice on the market you can use to, you know, cook better. I do that. I, I have a friend here in the office who talks spices and food. So when women gather, it's not all about gossip. I don't think this is fair. Uh, Freddie Owusu says, Konkonsa takes it all. That's another word for gossip anyway, if you don't know it. And Apana Charles Larson says, I think chilling brings them together. Okay. You think chilling is bad? Apana, you don't chill? Okay. Yeah, Kotonero, yeah. I like that, but I can still sense the sarcasm in your statement. He says, intellectual discussion when ladies meet. I just love them. Um, Khalil Mastro says, the only thing that brings ladies together is gossip. Where are the women? The women should be commenting on this and defending us. Anyway, that's their opinion. And, uh, <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Don't worry. Uh, we are fine, but I, I think that I have to get a group of women to, to raise a massive defense on Facebook about this. Because we don't only meet to gossip. I don't meet to gossip. So I'm not sure every woman does that. Anyway, um, today's a Friday. The weekend follows. It's going to be a good one. Others are going to go to work. Others are going to rest. Whatever it is, you're still going to have a feel of the weekend. So um, I'm just going to show you a video. Uh, I'm sure you may have seen this. This is a video of President Akufado singing. I know there was this video that popped up on social media uh, when he was actually conducting a band. Uh, maybe call it an orchestra, not a full complement of an orchestra, uh, but an orchestra sort of. And he was waving the wand and people thought he didn't do such a good job with how he conducted that band. Uh, Valerie Sawyer thinks so. But President Akupado has been singing this time in Eve. And I'm sure you may have heard that song. He sang it at the 8th Biennial uh, Conference of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. So for those of you who have not seen that video, just take a look at it.
there you have it. It's good to have, you know, a little life moment at times, isn't it? Uh, but you've also been commenting on this video on our social media page, and I'd just like to read a few of your comments. But I don't wish to be in the shoes of uh, the president's guard over there. I mean, just standing there like that when the president is singing. I, I would have been tempted to sing anyway. But hey, that's his job, and he had to be professional about it. Uh, so Nana Kwame says, ah, okay, just what I was saying. The bodyguard no go laugh small. I mean, that's to say, won't the bodyguard even laugh? And um, Nazi says, well, this song still wouldn't win the president more than 10 votes in the Volta region. But who said he's doing this to win votes? Guys, sometimes just take a, take a chill pill. Owusu Bwati says, hey, African leaders won't stop the singing and dancing and work. We are waiting for your jobs, Mr. President. Just let us sing in church together. I like that. He's got 18 replies. Ekuya Pokua says, hmm, Africans think when they sing gospel songs or pray, God will come down from heaven to fix the roads and stuff for them. Uh, some more. This one says, the song that you sing when a prophet prophesies, you'll be one term president. Anyway, so well, that'll be it for the comments. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you want to see that video again just get onto our facebook page it's posted there look out for our videos you see president akufado singing there okay that means that um i'll give thanks to god but it's in the ever language read the comments there quite interesting comments there but that'll be all for this edition of joy news interactive i really appreciate your company here i'm always glad to hear what you have to say about trending issues and um just take care have fun this weekend please don't drink and drive because i need you alive on monday so we can continue having discussions hopefully uh, that will end this country in a better place <music>